we are back with another episode in this Boston College Dynasty. Here we look at our scouting, Barrett Williams. We reduced our scouting total points on him because we found out that he really isn't the real deal. Um, wide receivers, I think it's pretty much been the same the whole way. Hopefully we get Nick Webb. Uh, if not, we're just looking at a depth approach. And same thing with tackles. Uh, guards, you know, trying to get boost up that offensive line if we can. As well as the, uh, we could use some help on the D line, but mainly going after some linebackers. Um, see if we get Chase Johnson, that would be a big pickup to the uh, linebacking core. We also have some secondary options, which we've been pursuing for a while. Um, do get a strong safety to commit. And more than likely, we'll get that kicker uh, as we have a kicker heading out. And we found two athletes who have very good statistics. Um, both, I mean, this guy looks like um, John Miles could be a quarterback with that throw power. So maybe we pick him up instead of Barrett Williams. That's what I'm thinking. And here we're playing North Carolina. Maybe we pick him up instead of Barrett Will um, Barrett Williams. Pretty sure it was his quarterback's name. I'm sorry. Um, and instead of him as our next quarterback, or maybe we just leave Anthony Hi, Brown. I have faith in Anthony Brown heading into his junior year, I believe, next year. I think he'll be able to do big things, and we've just been uh, underestimating him. And we've seen he is capable of um, throwing the ball. He's not that bad. You give him an O line, give him some time, and here, here you see the, the roster of the Tar Heels. I forgot to do that before. Taking a look. Um, Nothing really that special to have a solid O-line, but um, and not the best defense, though. You see, they do have a, a, a strong defensive line, strong linebacking core, and um, I take it back. They do have a pretty good defense, I forgot, but yeah, I, I think Anthony Brown, though, will be able to develop. Uh, here's the first play of the game. Or one of the first, and yeah, AJ Dillon does his thing. Big pickup right there. Start us off. But uh, I don't know. I mean, he's in, the guy we're looking at, John Miles, is an athlete. And here is a dot by Anthony Brown. This is what I'm talking about. He could find guys, as long as we could improve, uh, keep that wide receiving core uh, somewhat where it is right now, he'll be able to pick up. And here is just a missed tackle and a huge pickup by the Tar Heels. And. Trails not the best team. Uh, they usually aren't the best team. North Carolina, really, I don't think they ever won a national championship in football. As they scored a nice touchdown, a.k.a. a nice missed tackle on our part. But never really known for being a football school. But they, they, I mean, they had Trubitsky a couple years ago. They, they were getting some players. They had Switzer. He's not a big name. But, you know, Michael Strahan. Or not, Lawrence Taylor went to uh, North Carolina. Sorry. And there's a missed pass right there uh, by Brown, but um, they're not they're not as bad as we thought they'd be. They're not a bad school at all, or a bad team rather. And here, I mean, nothing for Anthony Brown to really do. No one was open. The O line didn't give him enough time, and he gets sacked. And we go out on uh, fourth down right there. But their defense has come through, get us a stop, and we do hold them to only a field goal. But it is a lead for the Tar Heels, 10 to 7, uh, heading into the end of the first quarter. And yeah, Dylan, that's been our game plan the whole year. We've been watching; it's just a ground and pound, with AJ Dylan. And occasionally we go for a pass, and here just couldn't find anything. I mean, times of this game, Brown, I mean, Brown couldn't get his guys, and we're seeing that. I mean. The O line and the front, the front D line in the North Carolina Tar Heels to expose our O line for not being an elite O line. Here is the, I believe, I believe an option that just tears us up. Um, two focal points I'd like to improve upon is our front set, our front, well, our front D line as well as our O line. Um, and here they do actually botch that throw right there and we are again going to hold them to a field goal fortunately it's still one possession game only being down six points so let's 
try to start a drive, uh, heading into the latter part in the second half, and there's a big run by Avery Dillon. Set us up into good field position. And later on in this drive, we do hand it off to AJ Dillon, and he is going to get us down to the one or two yard line. And eventually, he handed off to him again. He does what he does best. And he sets a score record for rushing the touch nose of the season at 22. So North Carolina, um, North Carolina again has the ball at the end of the second half. We do hold them right there. And we're going to force them to have to kick a field goal. Uh, and they do hit it. So it's 16-14. Tar Heels. Um, at the end of the second half, we're going to the first half, see if we can do something on this last minute drive. And we do have Tommy Sweet wide open. I don't know what the Tar Heels were doing right there. We take that. And yet again, I, I don't know. And Tommy Sweeney is going to get us down to the one yard line. In a under 30 second drive, we are already at the one yard line. And we do hand it off and get a touchdown and take the lead going to half after being down by two. So a very critical drive right there. But at the start of the second half, uh, North Carolina gets going right away. Their offense proved to be much better than I thought it would be. Um, a lot better. Receiver, uh, running back and quarterback did a very good job for the Tar Heels. And so they make it 22-21, and they go for two, and they get it and make it 24-21. So by no means an easy game for us. Here we're going to get a nice little open pass to Sweeney. We're going to get the rack yards. Ninth play of the drive. Or yak yards, right? Yards after catch. Quarterback all by himself. Uh, rack, from the yak, same thing. Um, but we do get into the red zone. Do fire another nice pass by uh, Anthony Brown. Uh, perfectly thrown. Gets us the first down. And now we're in the uh, for a second and goal. And AJ Dillon, that's just our go to play. Hand it off to him right there. And we take the lead. But here is another run play by the QB. He, he has some legs. He makes his pay right there. But that was a very big play. Third down, we stop him, and now they're forced to go for it. Fourth and three. But they do get it. So we're only at four points. Um, and it's end of the third quarter. Big throw right there, and we do hold them down to a fourth and in inches. Another potentially a big stop ahead of us if we can do it, and we miss the tackle. But our linebacker slash D line comes through and holds him short of the first down. Um, and here we get very lucky with Anthony Brown as we continue the next try. Uh, we get the first down as Anthony Brown scrambled for that to wait for his uh, receiver to head up field. And we eventually end, end up pounding in the end zone by A.J. Dillon to make it a 35-24 game. Next up, midway through the third quarter, the fourth quarter. A big sack right there by Allen. And now they're left with a fourth down. Much games on the line for North Carolina. They don't convert this. It is over. And they do get the wide open receiver. Good luck by the QB. And a first down. And they're driving. And they're in the red zone. And now they're left with a fourth down. Um, they could go with the field goal, but they'd have to get back the onside kick. Either way, they have to get an onside kick back. And they run it right there. And our, our defense comes through when it has to again. And something you may not or may have noticed is there has been numerous times this year our defense has been forced to make a big stop on third and fourth down, and they've came through. Big reason why we were so successful, and here we take a look at our stats. Um, another big reason why we're so successful is the one and only A.J. Dillon, potted 243 yards today, and a uh, big reason for why for this we have this win Sweeney, a nice day receiving the ball for him. Um, yeah, North Carolina played pretty good today, though. That was not an easy game for us, by no means. Uh, 
but we do come out on top in a crucial, crucial win, making sure we don't drop one. We're now the 12th best team in the country. Take a look at the uh, upcoming visits in our next week's game. It's a huge game, recruiting points. I'll see you guys as we take on number 20 Virginia Tech next week. See you guys.